The Western European state of the Netherlands is distinguished by its originality and a host of unique features. The country of windmills and countless tulips, located on the coast of the North Sea, has a peculiar climate it is moderately cool in summer and quite warm in winter. Such weather is ideal for visiting the numerous Dutch cities, replete with a wide variety of attractions. Especially for you, I have compiled a list of popular places in this country, which included the most interesting sites of the Netherlands. Number 10. Project Delta, southwest of the Netherlands. Geographically, Holland is a low-lying country, so its lands are extremely vulnerable to the water element. After one of the powerful floods, the government began to develop the Delta project, the implementation of which took as much as 47 years. Thus, two giant storm barriers appeared, in the branch of the new waterway and in the channel of the eastern Scheld River. One of the barriers, Maslantkering, is a giant gate that blocks the river in the event of a storm, and in the absence of threats are in the open position, hiding on the banks in special docks. The second barrier, Ostersheldekering, is a whole complex consisting of an artificial island, a storm barrier, and side dikes. The barrier itself consists of 65 giant concrete columns of 18,000 tons each, between which steel gates with sluice mechanisms are attached. Number 9. Zantz Shans, Zandam. May in Holland is one of the most beautiful periods of the year, when all nature has already woken up from the winter cold, the temperature is rising, but not yet exhausting with the summer heat. And flowering alleys and fields give the rest a touch of romance and charm. The May weather here is ideal for active travel, long walks in parks and forests. Therefore, in search of what to see in the Netherlands in May, you can go to the Zantz Shans, a stunning atmospheric place, which is an open-air museum in the bosom of picturesque nature. On its territory there are about 30 traditional Dutch houses from all over the country, as well as museums, farms, and a dozen operating mills. Once in the Zantz Shands, visitors have the opportunity to travel back several centuries and plunge into the life of Old Holland, to learn how grain is ground in mills. Number 8. Vincent van Gogh Museum, Amsterdam. The Van Gogh Museum is one of the most popular and sought-after museums in the Netherlands, and like Madame Tussauds, it has become world-famous. This cultural monument dates back to 1973, when the famous artist's nephew decided to organize an exhibition of his uncle's numerous works. Especially for these purposes, a spacious building with huge windows was erected according to the project of the architect Rietveld. The museum exhibits about 200 paintings and 500 drawings by Vincent van Gogh, collected in chronological order. This is the largest of all collections of his works. In the exhibition, you can also see a number of various documents of the master and even personal correspondence. In addition to the works of van Gogh, the museum contains many paintings by other painters who were contemporaries of the famous artist. Number 7. Euromast, Rotterdam. One of the most recognizable symbols of Rotterdam has become a relatively young landmark of the Netherlands, Euromast, or in Dutch Euromast. A huge and tall concrete structure towers over the outskirts of Rotterdam and is visible from almost every corner of the city. The construction of the building began in 1958 and was associated with the opening of the Floriade Flower Festival in Rotterdam. Euromast is a concrete structure with a height of 185 meters and a diameter of 9 meters. Since the thickness of the walls of the tower does not exceed 30 centimeters, it was necessary to securely strengthen it at the very base. Therefore, for stability, 1.9 thousand tons of reinforced concrete were poured into the foundation of the Euromast. Number 6. Canals of Amsterdam, Amsterdam. As a rule, a trip to the Netherlands begins with the capital of the state, Amsterdam. The main attraction of the Netherlands in the capital are the numerous water channels of Amsterdam. There are more than a hundred of them, many man-made canals, along with hundreds of intricate bridges and footbridges, create a unique picture of the city, making it recognizable among thousands of other cities. You can wander for hours along its endless embankments, admiring the intricate architecture of the city. The entire canal system of Amsterdam is a complex of waterways formed by one large river, 
the Amstel. The creation of this system began as early as 1658 with the plan of three channels, developed by the architect Hendrik van Keysker. Nowadays, the number of canals already includes 165 canals, through which more than one and a half thousand bridges have been laid. If you look at the panorama of the city from above, all these channels form four half rings, as if nested into each other and encircling the city. Number 5. Flower Park Kuchenhof, Lis. Connoisseurs of beauty will definitely find something to see in the Netherlands, because here is one of the most famous flower parks in the world, Kuchenhof, which means kitchen park in Russian. It belongs to the local royal dynasty and also has a second name, the Garden of Europe which reflects its location, in the very center of the Old World, between The Hague and Amsterdam. Once upon a time, there was a count's estate on the territory of the park, where herbs for the court kitchen were grown, hence the origin of the name of the park is clear. The park itself was founded in 1857, in compliance with the English principles of park building. The area of the park is huge, about 32 hectares. Nowhere else in the world will you find as many flowers as you will see in this park. The climate here, like nowhere else, favors the cultivation of flowers, a large amount of rainfall, small temperature contrasts are ideal for plant growth. A flower show is held here every year. The most common flowers of the park are tulips of a wide variety of varieties, in the amount of more than 5 million. In total, the park has three huge greenhouses, one of which presents tulips, lilacs, and daffodils, the second, orchids, the third, roses. Number 4. Binnenhof Castle, The Hague In the very center of The Hague, there is a surprisingly beautiful ancient castle, which has rightfully become one of the most luxurious attractions in the Netherlands. The severity and at the same time refinement of its forms, combined with the waters of the lake on the shore of which it is located, leaves a strong and vivid aesthetic impression. If you are staying in one of the hotels in The Hague, you will definitely find something to visit in the Netherlands, because you will definitely be offered an excursion to the Binnenhof, Binnenhof founded in 1247 as a hunting castle. Today is a system of unique buildings and structures designed in an elegant medieval style. The Redurzel is a Gothic-style building with an unusual triangular fod and two towers. Number 3. Castle de Har, Utrecht In one of the oldest and most beautiful cities in Holland, there is a magnificent site of the Netherlands, de Har Castle. Externally, the castle looks like a historical monument of the Middle Ages, but in fact it is a mansion equipped with the most advanced developments, repeatedly de Har literally rose from the ashes. In 1391, the stone castle served as the patrimony of the de Har family. In 1482, the fortress was burned down, leaving only ruins and minor defensive structures. At the beginning of the 16th century, the castle was literally recreated anew and in 1890 it was inherited by a descendant of the de Har family. His rich wife put a lot of effort and money to restore the family nest. The architect Cooper spent about 20 years restoring the castle. Electricity, steam heating, and elevators were installed. But all technical innovations were skillfully hidden from view so as not to disturb the external splendor of medieval interiors. When restoring the premises of the castle with the help of multicolored bricks, the border between the old and new walls was smoothed out. Number 2. De Hoge Velu National Park, Province of Gelderland In the Dutch province of Gelderland, there is something to see in the Netherlands. The De Hoge Velu National Park offers so much interesting that sometimes its visitors do not even have enough of a whole day to get around and explore all its interesting places. The founders of this famous landmark in the Netherlands, the Curler business couple, once used the land for hunting, but over time, financial difficulties forced them to sell the land to the state. Today, on an area of about a thousand square meters, there are many walking routes, horse and bike paths, a sculpture garden, a number of restaurants and three unique museums. So, among them is a one-of-a-kind museum of underground life. Going down deeper into the earth along its stairs, you can meet the root system of an old tree, whose age reaches one and a half hundred years. Number 1. Maastricht Known for its medieval-era architecture and rolling hills, 
Maastricht is one of the best cities in the Netherlands. The city is the birthplace of the Euro and offers plenty of attractions for tourists. Spend an afternoon roaming the shops in the centrum, then head over to the Basilica of St. Servatius, the oldest in the Netherlands. Visitors can also book a boat tour of the Meuse River or take a guided tour of Fort St. Peter. Take a tour of the vineyard and discover 34 acres of lush fields where five different grape varieties grow. Hiking enthusiasts should check out the trails leading up St. Petersburg Mountain, where there are the remains of a castle. Nearby, the Maastricht Caves Zonneberg also features World War EI-era caves with incredible charcoal drawings and a museum.